whole situation right here, KG, confuses the fuck out of me. A man of Samu's caliber, for some reason, for some odd reason, I don't know why, I don't believe you know why, is under the services of Charlie Brown. Why? Right. I don't know. It's, you know, it's really sick because Sabu, a legend, a, a seasoned veteran, Sabu, a Michigan icon, a wrestling legend, has turned his back on the Juggalo family, gone on the colorful genie pants, replaced with a somber black, and just a whole new attitude in the ring all together. All due to the man, Charlie Brown. I mean, now what's the why he sold sold them out, sold sold out jugglers and wrestling in general. And his opponent. <laughs> Basically, what he can't do mentally, I try to pick up where, where he leaves off, and what I can't do physically, he tries to help me out in that regard too, man. And we're we are a unit. Uh, he's got my back, and I got his back. And to me, that's what family is all about. Well, right now he's got his hands full. He's got his hands full. This man Sabu gimmick. right here. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that's not something what? to take lightly. No, it's not. Sabu it's does not take tradition. His headgear lightly at all, right. whatsoever. Right, and Eugene's such a such a fantastic wrestler, but but sometimes he messes around, maybe maybe a little well, too I, much, and, and that, that might cost him. Yeah. He get his haircut via Floby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were where he gets his personal style from, man. But he does his own thing, and I can appreciate that. It's, uh, Eugene here taking on a legend again, a wrestling icon. Sabu. Well, Eugene not a slouch himself in the ring, Eugene. Uh, he's been there and he's living done that. legend himself, you know. Zach, my question for you is, how do you tolerate Eugene? I know he's a great guy, he means well, but I, I personally, I've witnessed Eugene cost you guys, yourself and you as a team, a couple of matches along the way. I know he means well, but how do you deal with that? I, I have no patience myself. Um, well, it's something I've learned over the years. I have tons of patience because I can see the talent and the drive and the heart, and he always means well. Uh, but sometimes I agree with that. I, I definitely see your perspective on that, but... Just the fact Look that, at that. He's a fantastic wrestler. He's out wrestling the, the legend himself, Sabu. Exactly. You he's got the rain it, man. man of Keep it up. The rain man of wrestling himself right there. But but sometimes he does cost the one, two, three. And sure. that's the problem. Sure, sure. And, and you know, I, I might get upset for some time, but I, 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 I learned to get over it, man, because, because at the end of the day, he's got my back. And I got his back, and we're best friends, man. And I think together, we I think we could make a run for the JCW Tag Team Championships. Absolutely. You guys, like you said, you're the perfect yin and yang combination. The, your strengths are his weaknesses and vice versa. Sure. The superior mind of Zach Gowan. The bizarre, almost dare I say, recharge strength of Eugene. It all kind of blends together into this package. Look at Eugene out sure. wrestling. Yeah, he is. Sabu. He's yeah. an amazing wrestler. He's an absolutely amazing Our wrestler. Wrestling and humiliating. And I'm not sure he likes that term retard strength. Uh, I brought it up one time and he got pretty upset with me. I, I like to call it his inner strength, man. There you go. His inner strength, his big heart. There he is, yeah. man. Look at it. Or retard Look strength. At him. Either one works. But yeah. he, he needs to keep his Either concentration on Sabu because Sabu's not definitely not something to take lightly, man. Definitely not. Sabu's the most homicidal, genocidal, suicidal wrestler in the history of the wrestling business, man. One and of now my icons. you got to figure he's under the tutelage, if you will, of the spell, the, well, whatever the fuck yeah. it is of Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brizown. Charlie Brizown, man. Toot, toot. 
So now Sabu getting the upper hand. The thing I've been wondering about, Zach, also is that, you know, you are a world-class wrestler. You've been in there in the ring with Hulk Hogan, with Vince McMahon. You've been you've everywhere. been to the top of the mountain. It doesn't seem that Eugene understands that in spite of what you've overcome, the challenges you've overcome in your life, that you are able to handle yourself quite capably inside of that ring. Absolutely, man. And, and Eugene's a huge inspiration for me because I was on top of the world at one point. I was with Hulk Hogan. I was I was uh, pinning the big show in the middle of the ring, man. Well, but my were... pin, you still are. You're, you're J.C. Duff. Look at it. You're him. very heavy capable. You and this man, the Rain Man of Hudson, is very much in control right now. And see right there, as He's distracted, KG. Yeah, again, he's, a, he's such a fan. Eugene, again, of all the wrestlers Eugene's seen. Yeah, that's, he's, that's the downfall oh, is the distraction right there. One, oh, two, three. He's paying so nope, much attention that, that was to his homie Zach Gowan here. Eugene just Man, lost and, the match. And, and that makes me that makes me feel bad, too, because I almost feel three. responsible. Because maybe if I wasn't out here, he wouldn't have looked over here at me and would have been distracted. He had Sabu beating him in the ring. Here is your winner, for, for Sabu! This is, this is an opportunity he had to get a huge victory over Sabu. And he's so, such a fan, so obsessed with Zach Gowan. He was yeah. paying more attention to you than to Sabu. But on, on, Zach, on Zach's side, uh, his, his side of the fence, I mean, you gotta be fought flattered. I mean, you got the rain man up in there, in the ring giving Zach props. Now he's going to check on him. Is that the gift leg? The gifted leg? Zach Gowan with that gifted leg. Getting inside the ring here trying and, to help you know, out his he, buddy. And, you know, he, he's given many excuses, but, you know, I see it kind of as a poisonous relationship. A little right, bit. right. It's toxic. Because underneath all this... You know, Yuchi doesn't want to go home with a loser share of the money. Well, exactly. And I think Zach is very flattered that Eugene acknowledges him, loves him, and everything, you know, but he's got to realize that he is costing them the rest. Absolutely. But this, as you know better than anybody, Shaggy, this is what family's all about. It's not just the good times, it's also the bad times. Like, it's hard times, it's blood. It's thicker than water and sweat.